What's going on, y'all? What's going on, y'all? Let me just... <laughs> Y'all know every time I come here just about, I got to give y'all some the rundown of what happened at my job today. So, I was on the desk. If you know, you know, I work at the library, whatever. I'm checking people out. You know, I work at, I work downtown, okay? If you're in Chicago, there's only two libraries downtown. I don't work at the big one. I work at the, uh, the other one. But, bitch, this white lady, older, okay, probably in her early 60s, late 50s, you know, you just can never know with white people um they don't age like black people i'm sorry to put that out there but let's be honest some of y'all don't but anyway this bitch come up there and she was like to my other co-worker who was on the desk next to me gonna say something well at least it's good to see a smiling face okay you know some people just don't smile and um they're not so i said bitch who the fuck she talking to okay mind you this is what i'm thinking in my head because i had to keep it calm cool and demeanor my demeanor on point because I just caught what she was trying to say. Bitch, I'm looking at something on the um, internet, all right? I'm focused on what I'm supposed to be focused on. She focused on you, bitch, okay? And so, therefore, let her focus on you. So, of course, she going to be cordial. And I said hello to the bitch, okay? As soon as the customers come up, I be like, hello, whatever. And I go about whatever I'm doing, even if they getting serviced by somebody else. You getting serviced by her, so why does it matter that I don't smell at your ass the whole goddamn time? Bitch, I, it took everything out of me to just be quiet. I just kept on looking at what I was doing because I was doing my work, all right? That's what I was supposed to be doing. Then the nigga that was sitting on the fucking computer, he comes up there. My supervisor was sitting up there. He going to look at, because I got my name on my t uh, arm. Then I have my um, badge on. Mind you, he worked for the city, too. Going to say something. Ashley, Ashley. Um, yeah, so it'd be nice if you should smile. Now, at this point, it's less than an hour. It's almost, no, it's it's almost probably a little bit over an hour left. I'm tired, okay? I don't have time for the fuck shit, all right? Now, that lady didn't piss me off. I was calmed down for that because I caught that little slight shade. Bitch, I ain't finna smile at you. You ain't giving me shit, so what the fuck I'm smiling for, okay? Then you come over here talking about some smile a little bit. Smile a little bit. You should smile because the patient and then gonna say my tell my supervisor because the patient did come up in here and say that you know, um, some of y'all don't be smiling and all that stuff. It's nice to see somebody smile because people don't usually do it. And uh, he was like, they talk about you too. You lying? Did you do this and you do that, bitch? Do you know when he said it, and he said it a couple of times? He was like, won't you just go ahead and smile? Do you know I looked up at him like. And it took so much out of me not to open up my mouth because my supervisor was sitting right there next to me. And she literally just was like, nigga, just go. Okay? Let me just put this out there to y'all niggas. Niggas, white people, older black folks too, because y'all do it too. Don't tell nobody to smile. Okay? You don't know what's going on. And you don't... What the fuck we need to smile for, bitch? Get your shit and get the fuck out. That is the main way to get your ass cussed the fuck out, bitch. Two people almost got cussed out. And you better be glad I want it and I like my job because I would have cussed your ass out. Both of y'all, okay? God damn. Any fucking way, put y'all experiences down in the comments, okay? We gonna fucking talk about this shit. I just... It was just the snarky, you know, sometimes some people, especially older people, they don't do it to be, you know, mean or whatever, or to throw shots or whatever. They just really like, you're such a pretty face, go ahead and smile, girl, do all that. That's fine. But I called it, the, the, if you would have heard the way the little white bitch said it, and if you would have heard it the way that he said it, I would have been like, you, you would have understood my frustration. I don't like that shit. This is my face. I'm not angry. I'm not pissed off. I'm chill. Why I need to smile? Bitch, fuck. Anyway, moving, you can't take it, move the fuck on. Black Ink Crew, bitch. Black Ink Crew. Season, what is this? I'm sorry, y'all. I'm sorry, y'all. Four minutes on that shit. Season, some of my ladies and some of y'all niggas, y'all understand. Y'all understand. Season six, episode nine, you know, Soul Korea. Well, Soul Searching, okay? So, you know, the, the crew is going to get ready to go to uh, South Korea. They going to the airport, those that are there. Let me just get the North New York people out. Walt, Melody, Jada, Alex, them, they still at the shop and oh shit. And they just bullshitting, kicking the shits or whatever. They ain't really got nothing else to do. Um, Tatiana pulls up in there. 
and Tati. Here go Jada. Jada, you kind of irk my nerves. Now, girl, I like you because you ain't really done shit and you got a fat ass, but I got to keep it real. I got to keep it real. She got a nice ass on her. But um, the thing of it is, you should keep your mouth closed, okay? You really should keep your mouth closed because ain't no telling how long you going to have this job, all right? Because, baby mama, let me just tell you this. You up here talking about some Tatiana just don't learn her lesson. She just don't know when to quit. You know, she came here. She got her ass whooped this time, this time, this time. She got told to go. Then she came back. Now, I ain't even think that she was really going to take Sky up on the offer and come on back. What the fuck? She got a job. That's why she needs to come back because she needs to pay her bills and shit, bitch. She ain't letting y'all scare her off and all that shit. I, I admire that, but bitch, I want to put up with the bullshit that goes on in that shop. So, you know, it's a two-edged sword. But bitch, Jada, you shut the fuck up, okay? You shut the fuck up because you knew it's shit there too. And you got that because of your looks. Because Walt wanted to fuck you. That's it. What exactly do you do? And what exactly do you bring to the shop? That bitch can tattoo, pierce, and she managed other people before. What the fuck is your skills? Exactly. Shut the fuck up. Moving on from that, you still cute and all, but you know, you kind of rub me the wrong way with that shit, okay? Maybe I just feel away because of the day I had. Y'all, that really pissed me off. They, they really tried my nerve. You know what? And he was a, and see, what made it so much burst is because he was a chocolate nigga, and he was an older chocolate nigga, too. And he was kind of cute with it, too. And then I, he opened up his mouth and just fucked it all up. He just fucked it all up. I just said, anyway. So that's what happened now. Tatiana had her cousin come in, Linda, and she was doing her tattoos. Uh, I can't wait to see next week when, oh shit, and um, Alex get into it because Alex trying to steal his client. I don't give a fuck. That's, some, that's, that's crazy. Unless the client truly, truly said that they want to switch to another artist in the hair shop, nail shop, or whatever. Sometimes you got your set clients, okay? Now, if that other tattoo or other artist or whatever come up in there and be like, yo, your dude ain't here, so let me do you right quick, let me do you right quick. Now, nah, I'm waiting for them. And you trying to take their client like that, that's fucked up, okay? But if they... The client themselves is not satisfied and they want something new and they want to go to somebody else. That's fine. But I just got to assess the situation because, oh, shit, look like he was about to be Alex's ass. I don't know. And, oh, shit, look like he was out there in California eating. So he ain't been missing no meals. All right. So, you know, he looked like one punch probably would knock Alex with the skinny ass out. But anyway, you know, he probably on probation. So he probably trying to, you know, slow down on that shit. So we get that over with. Her little cousin come in. And I like the fact that she put that out there, the new technique. See, she doing different techniques, okay, a tattooing. It's not just the, you know, with the needle, the machine gun needle, whatever, going, um, the, the ink going in so fast so you can get the tattoo done a little bit quicker. It was hand with one fucking needle, stick and pull, stick and pull, stick and pull. Bitch, I remember seeing when Angelina Jolie went, where she go, to Cambodia? And she got that big-ass tattoo on the back of her t um, back years ago and they was literally with the palette and the needle bitch i ain't got time for all of that and you feel every fucking stroke no i want to get in and i want to get the fuck out so i can feel it when i come home later okay that's what i want to feel okay i don't want to be sitting there like bitch you got to do one layer <sighs> give me a goddamn break you ain't even halfway through because this shit hurt and then I got to come back and you got to open that shit up because you got to finish and put some more dye in it so it can stay. Bitch, I ain't got time for that. But that was that was a different method and I'm glad that they showed it. See, Tatiana actually coming up in here showing us some new shit, okay, instead of the fuck shit. So, um, the tattoo was, I guess that's what her, it was simple as fuck. It had to be because, girl, okay. But we're going to move on from that. That's what her cousin wanted. That's what her cousin wanted. They get to Korea, the other crew. Donna, <laughs> bitch, Donna and them set the tone when they got into the goddamn F airport to get on the plane when Donna switched her wig at least three times. And I said, bitch, this is going to be a fucking ride when they get there. They get on the goddamn plane. Caesar says, since me and Sky like the head of black ink, let's upgrade our seats to, um, you know, first class. Now, at first, I was like, okay, I get that. I said, how come y'all couldn't upgrade, you know, um, what's his name? What's her name? Young Bay. This is why y'all out, out here, you know. You catering to her. Make her feel good. She's going through a lot, you know. 
upgrade her seat to first class. They had her ass down there in coach slash economy slash business or whatever the fuck. They packed up in that bitch like sardines. They had Ted, Ted big ass in the middle. Bitch, that's like my fat ass sitting there on a 14 hour flight. It just will never fucking do. That's why I always said, you know, I will never travel international yet because my sister trying to go out there to um Korea, South Korea. She's into all of that, you know, South Korea, K-pop. She didn't got my mama into it, you know, so I know some of the stuff because they talk about it so much. They be in group tests. I'm like, could you please take me out of this shit? I don't care. So because of them, I know a lot of shit about that that I normally probably wouldn't. Bitch, you will never get me to get on no at this fucking weight. Hell no, bitch. Okay? I ain't trying to get up and try to squeeze into no goddamn got fucking bathroom and take a piss. I ain't got time to be holding my pee for 14 hours. Bitch, I will never forget when I got on the plane for the first fucking time. It was first class too. But um, anyway... You know, looks can be deceiving, and in and, and, and the TV, they, they deceive your ass, okay? They make it like, oh, you know, the bathroom's going to be kind of big, not huge, but big enough for your ass to walk up in there, turn around, and do this and do that. Bitch, bitch, what was I on, American Airlines or Delta? One of them bitches, I was on that, and I was in the first row. I got halfway through the flight. I had to pee real bad. You know, I was like, I'm going to hold it. I'm going to hold it because, you know, I was sitting by the window. I was sitting next to this little small Asian girl. I didn't want to, like, cross over her or whatever and do all this shit. You know, I ain't want to embarrass myself. Bitch, I said, fuck it. I got to go to the bathroom. I went to that bathroom and, bitch, I said, please, don't let me get stuck up in this bitch. I was sitting on that toilet like this. And I said, hurry the fuck up. Okay, because, bitch, it was just a lot to get up in the bathroom. And I said, see, Ashley, you know, you're going to have to lose this shit before you go anywhere. And that's why if I go somewhere, the flights be two hours so I won't have to get the fuck up or I empty my bladder before I fucking go. Because lesson fucking line. I ain't trying to squeeze into nobody's bathroom and not on no goddamn long-ass flight. So when a bitch lose all this, that's when a bitch going to be going overseas and doing all this type of shit. Bitch, you ain't going to be able to tell my ass nothing. But anyway... Moving on from that, that's motivation for your ass, okay? Um, Scab, they're playing with the food. Season and went to sleep. You know, they get there. Um, <clears throat> Season and got them a nice little place. They come there. They get the little Korean food. And I was like, this is a nice little setup. DH1, y'all did a real good job with that. Because, you know, Season, them niggas ain't. Bitch, they could barely book them in Puerto Rico the right way and get the shit together. So they learn from that and let VH1 go ahead and, you know, book the shit. Um, so at this point in time, they get ready to go over there to Young Bay's place, uh, mother's place. And I just felt real bad for her because they was trying to find her so bad. And she was just calling out, calling out, calling out. And she remembered the passcode because it was texted to her from a while ago, I guess, because she got it from a text from her mom. She has yet to hear from her mom. And she goes in the place, and they was even like, this does not feel right. It's cold up in here like no one's been in here. She said the bed was not made up, and her mom makes her bed up every day when she gets up. And what really fucked them over, or especially on bay, was the fact that the phone was there. Her cell phone was still there, and she was like, listen, don't nobody um leave the house without their phone. That's what Skyden was saying. I was like, that's true, because I don't go nowhere. Bitch, I'd be a... One time I was up in the Uber car and I had left my um phone on the uh table. I told them to turn the fuck back around so I can go get my shit. They ain't charged me for nothing either. I don't, I don't play them games. But anyway, when that happened, um, you know, she was giving them some little back history about the stuff that was going on with her mom and how her mom she couldn't really get in contact with her family because her mom family kind of disowned her because she went on ahead and married her dad. And if you go to Korea, it is about social status. That is, is elite. That elitism type of mentality is still thriving and well over there too. It's disgusting almost, but it's unfortunate that's what goes on. And her mom was a wealthy, come from a wealthy family. They just own her because she basically got with somebody who was in a lower class than her. Okay, and you know, hindsight is twenty twenty. Maybe they was right, okay? <laughs> I know mama was like, damn it, bitch. I love this nigga, but <sighs> shit. They was right, because look at what the fuck he done put y'all through. Beating y'all asses, got y'all running here and there. 
couldn't find our mom and dad. They go to this other place where it was like these old shipment containers where they used to, um, you know, be at or whatever. Uh, when the father used to beat their ass and they run away. And she said, Young Bay said, you know, they stayed in this little junkyard type thing for two years. And they looked in there and went nothing but junk. So the mama wasn't in there. And, of course, she's crying and they're trying to lift her spirits, but they really can't. And it was it was unfortunate. And it was sad as hell. That was some sad ass shit. And I feel like that, this moment with Young Bay and going to Korea and all this stuff, this is like the realest shit that's ever happened on Black Ink Crew, okay? Um, show not just the goofy side, but the supportive side of everyone. And, um, you know, how they can be serious at them when they need to. Bitch, bitch, when they went to the goddamn market and they was playing with that food... I'm sitting over here eating my little scrimp fettuccine, okay? And it just, I don't, I could never. Just said, baby, just stick with the chicken. Like, you know, mm -mm, let me see the chicken. It's a whole chicken. That's the actual chicken. Okay, you know, cut that shit up and let me get the drumstick. You ain't got to fry it. You ain't got to do all that, you know. Pull that skin off and put a little season on there and, you know, cook that up. They got some good-ass spices over there, too, for real, because... You know, I didn't taste some shit, but, um, and, and put, give me some shrimps, take the eyes off, take the eyes and all them, um, shit off and de that shit. And that's all I stick with. Give me a little bit of noodles with some little sauce. That's it. Okay. Cause they was just doing a lot. It was, <sighs> shit was just squirming around and I just, y'all know I don't do shit that moves. Like I don't like bugs and I don't like live stuff. Like kill that shit before it comes to me. Okay. Take the eyeballs out before it comes to me. I don't want to see it. I don't want to... You know, I can't even eat crab that still be up in the goddamn shell because I don't want to touch it. I don't want to touch it. And then not the whole crab that be standing there looking at me, bitch. I, I'm, it just does something to me. I don't get it. It just works my nerves, okay? And so, you know, the octopus, Donna up here trying to say the octopus. I said, bitch, you can't take it through custom. That's what Kitty said. Bitch, you can't take it through custom. What the fuck? Okay? So they do all that. <laughs> The stuff, that thing that was in the bowl that was getting bigger and uh, They cut the octopus up and the thing was still fucking moving. And I was looking at this one documentary about the um, cuisine and shit they be over there. And it was like, you got to be careful. It was this one um, dish that they did. The octopus, they didn't even cut it up right. You just, uh, it's like small, small baby octopus or whatever. Really, really small that you could just swallow whole. And it was like some people, when he said that shit about can it get sucked to your um to your jaw and shit like that, a couple people didn't die because the shit that got stuck to the throat and stuff. I said, I don't have time. Why don't you risk your life like this? But see, they born into that and they used to that. And it just ain't in my culture. It just ain't in my nature either, okay? I just cook my shit, bitch. And don't tell me what it is, okay? If you want me to eat it, don't tell me. Make it smell right, because if it stank too, I don't care if you say it tastes good, I won't eat it, okay? No, I'm a picky-ass eater. Anyway, they tasted that shit. Sky and Ted Ted said the shit looked nasty as hell, but something about it just make him want to taste it. He couldn't even swallow that shit, and he pissed, spit it out, and that bitch was still moving. I don't have fucking time, okay? Sky. Sky, Sky, Sky. That bitch is on some shit. And she just needs some help, okay? Sky needs some help. Now, Sky can come in with the comedy relief, but bitch, I said, I know you are not going to bring United States of America problems over here to Seoul, South Korea. Leave that shit on the plane. She brought that shit over because she was over there looking at the way Katie and um Teddy was eating them noodles together, getting in her mind that they fucked or they was kissing and all this shit. Donna then said there was a rumor going around when they was in Puerto Rico that Kitty and Ted probably kissed or whatever the fuck. Okay, you know, Ted and Sky had this relationship four years ago. She don't want nobody fucking with her scraps. I said, other bitches didn't fuck with your sloppy seconds, so what are you talking about? And I had to remember, it's because she had beef with Kitty and she don't like Kitty, so therefore, she don't want Kitty touching anything that used to be hers. Bitch, they in the goddamn car. They about to go to this B-boy event or whatever, and... You know, everybody fine and having a good time. She talking about how she finna get a Korean nigga to come up in her and all that shit. I said, wouldn't be sky fit, you know, if she didn't. But okay. Next thing you know, we go from being happy to her asking about them kissing to, you know, 
Yes, you did. Don't fucking lie to me, nigga. Don't do this. Don't do this. Bitch, you eating my sloppy seconds and all this shit. You better not do no. I said, Sky, calm the fuck down. Calm the fuck down. What the hell, bitch? Then they get up out the car and she knocked the shit out of Ted in his face and took her wig off and was beating his ass, talking shit and all that stuff. Put that motherfucking wig on and the personality switched right back to being happy. I said, that bitch is on something. Whatever it is, I don't want a part of it, okay? That bitch needs some help. The shit was funny to me, but it was sad at the same time. I said, you're going to bring your ass over here acting a goddamn fool. So this is why people talk shit about Sky, because she had messed. But, you know, it is what it is. It is what it is. And then they get into the little b-boy competition um, place. You know, see, let me tell you something. We as American people and we as black people, we have to educate ourselves about cultures that are outside. And this is why I say if you're going to go somewhere that you've never been, please educate yourself because we're not just the only people that, you know, do certain stuff. We ain't the only people that rap, even though it originated with us. We're not the only people that do the b-boy stuff, the dancing and shit. Let me tell you something. Some of them motherfuckers be dancing their asses off over there. As we saw, some of them was getting down. And so Donna and Sky was really surprised about this. They was, you know, doing their thing. Season met up with um Jay Park. He is a big artist out there, which he actually is Korean-American. Born in... San Francisco. Let me tell you something. The only reason why I know that because my sister, okay? And my mama is in love. I said, mama, you are such a fucking bird, okay? That bitch is a bird. And this is where I get my bird ass tendencies from. Y'all understand that? Okay, there you is. You know? Um, cause she's well, this bitch, my mama, I told y'all once before, she, she stands for Jay-Z. Okay? So, yeah, she is, she, if, if she could take Jay-Z from Beyonce, she would. I said, Mama, you was glad when you found out that they, um, you know, had their little marital problems. You wanted them to get divorced so you can come and take her nigga. You are a bird-ass bitch. But anyway, it's understandable. Get that money, man. You know, I can do a whole video on that. I'm going to tell y'all some shit later. But because she disappoints me. She got assets that she don't really use to the fullest. Because I could have had a couple of stepdaddies and my bills could have been paid. Anyway, moving on from that, she playing with the little Korean boy. Sky and Donna was like, look at that, look at that. He looking, he looking. He like six feet three and all this stuff. She bending over and twerking, he looking. Then she going dancing on him and just doing the fucking most. I said, Donna, you about to fuck around and catch a charge, okay? Meanwhile, um, you know, Caesar was talking to Jay Park and they was talking about the tattoo thing. And, you know, he wanted to get a tattoo. And he was like, I thought it was illegal here. He was like, yeah, but, you know. There's some underground shit. And he was like, damn, I ain't bring my shit. But if you ever back in New York, you know, just hit us up and all this shit. And if you don't know, he is signed to um, Rock Nation. If you've been on the internet or whatever, you've probably seen, you know, some of the um, pictures. And he was there. He took a picture with Beyonce. He was at the Rock Nation Grammy brunch. So, yeah. But anyway, moving on from that. Young Bay just in there, mad, depressed, or whatever. Donna out here throwing the fuck up. They thinking that Donna pregnant. So, Teddy and um, Young Bay and her go get some pregnancy tests. When they went to that Korean store, and the lady there was just like this. The whole damn time. They went and took the test. Donna don't want to be pregnant, so to support her girl, Young Bay took a test with her. Donna ain't pregnant, but Young Bay test came out saying that she pregnant. I said, baby, go get that shit checked because um, you just don't never know. But that was the episode. I can't wait to see next week when Donna, I said, what the fuck, Sky? She coming at Young Bay saying that she don't believe all the stuff that she's saying about her daddy. Girl, at least she know her daddy. Let me stop playing. Let me stop playing. Y'all tell me how y'all feel about this episode. Put y'all experience around if y'all had some with motherfuckers telling you to smile. <laughs> anyway, I'll see y'all later. Peace.